Hello everyone, this is Thiago from Envea. As you know, Envea manufactures the most reliable and accurate systems for solids and gas measurement. In today's video, I will introduce to you our new application overview for the FlowGem family. With this application overview, we can get more ideas how to adapt, install, and use the FlowGem sensor on your application. We see here the FlowGem standard sensor, bigger one. We see the smaller FlowGem S. We can use the FlowGem S for ATEX zones. And basically the FlowGem is a flow, no flow monitoring device. It monitors whether there is material flow, solids material flow. When there is movement, it gives a relay output. And when there is no movement, the output goes to zero. Here we have possible installations for your process. So let's have a look here. After rotary valves, after silos, storage silos, we have a free fall situation into uh, air stream or a chain conveyor or a rotary conveyor to a mixer, making sure you have always material feeding into the mixer. We have here on a pneumatic line, flow jump can be installed in free fall applications, inclined lines, or pneumatic applications, okay? Here we have the flow jump on a conveyor belt. Very cool application. Basically, you position the sensor on top of the conveyor belt to monitor whether there is material flow on the conveyor belt. Not only if the conveyor belt is working, but whether there is material on top. We're a conveying material. Very cool application. Here, right after screw feeder, free fall, directly free fall vertical, we can see here some examples of successful applications. Monitoring cement on air sliders. We have here detection of animal feed. We, we can see here there's a screw feeder, free fall section, another screw feeder after, and this is a chewed section. We monitor the material flow between two conveying devices. Chewed section, very cool application. For steel plants on a blast furnace, we monitor the PCI plants, pulverized coal injection plants. We monitor whether there is material flow, there is flow of coal inside the lines, inside the lenses, into the main blast furnaces. All right? So we can see here pneumatic applications multiple sensors for each lens so we have a flow gem installed so you can get exactly which lens has a blockage and have a stronger air injection in just this one detection of abrasives abrasives very important topic because with the flow gem and um, contactless measurement it works with a doppler effect microwave doppler effect so there's no need for moving parts, mechanical parts. It measures contactless. So we can have a piece of ceramic, palm, take a peek between the sensor and the application. So the sensor never breaks, never stops working. It is reliable. We see here after a silo or rotary feeder and free fall detection of food. So abrasives, coal, food, Flow gem can be adapted in multiple applications. We can spend the whole day here talking about multiple application ideas, but the rule is clear. As soon as we have solids moving, the flow gem monitors. All right, let's get here cyclone monitoring system. Flow gem using process adapters can be installed in applications where the process temperature goes to 1000 degrees Celsius, just separating the sensor from inside. We have a ceramic block. So the sensor is always safe and the application is always sealed. Very important thing to do. And we have a brand new sensor. It's the Flow Jump T. 
The Flow GMT is a mass flow monitoring device for rose lines, very small material flows. Like the application you can find in this video here, somewhere here, you can see that the Flow GMT was used on a cutting machine, monitoring abrasives injection right before the focusing jack injection line. Invea, it's a big company, it's a global company, which works with ambient monitoring devices, emissions monitoring devices, and process monitoring devices, like the flow jam we're talking about today. And if you want to learn more about the flow jam sensor and all the process sensors that NVM manufactures, you can find here in the description links to everything we talked about. Basically, a lot of things. All right. So see you next time with more solids measurement. Thank you very much for watching. Ciao, ciao.